so we're at the Lowry uh, Theatre and Gallery today uh, with Michael, you're the Director of Visual Arts yep. and with our new signing, Shane. Um, but the most important thing we're kind of looking at here is this wonderful piece of artwork which is Lowry's Going to the Match. Um, it's inspired a programme that we've been doing which is uh, giving affordable and accessible football for all. But like the rest of Salford, you must be buzzing to have this here in the gallery. Oh, we're over the moon to be honest because this is a picture that uh, absolutely sums up everything that's fantastic about L.S. Lowry. People might not know his work, but if you do, you'll know that a lot of his work has the industrial landscape in the background, but primarily it's about people leading, living their daily lives. Just everyday people leading everyday lives, and that he does lots of paintings about going to school, or going to work, or going to the park, or going to the football match. He's not at all interested in the football match, and that's the old Burnham Park, mm. Bolton's old ground. He's not interested in a football match. What he's interested in is all these people coming together, the shared experience they're all going to have. And of course, this was 1953, so these were the days when all, everyone kicked off at 3 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Factory whistle would go at midday. Everyone would go and get a pie and a pint, and then get on the bus, get to the ground, and enjoy the match. And it's just typical of Larry that he loved all that. And it's, it's a marvellous, marvellous painting. So has it been a big operation to get this back in the city? Because we've seen campaigning for a, for a certain amount of time. It's been quite a big palaver, yes. I mean, it was bought by the Professional Footballers Association in 1999. And bless them, they lent it straight to us. So we've had it on our walls for 20 odd years. But then the PFA, for very good reasons, decided to put it to auction. They're a charity, they, needed to, they wanted to use mm. the money for good, good things. So then it was about, oh my God, what if this picture goes into the hands of a private collector, either in the UK or even possibly overseas. We want to do all we can to make sure it stays in Salford. Um, it's not a picture of Salford, but mm. everything about Lowry, everything about this whole experience just speaks so loudly about mm. what Salford life was like and, and is still like in many ways. So we went on a big adventure in terms of trying to convince somebody to give us the money to buy it. Luckily, uh, the Law Family Charitable Foundation uh, gave us money so that we could bid at auction. We bid at auction probably the scariest night of my life and we were lucky enough to buy yeah. it. So back on the walls and everyone's having a really good time seeing yeah. it together. Cool. So obviously this has moved to Salford very recently. Shane, you've moved to Salford City very recently. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing you didn't go at Christie's auction. That's not how we <laughs> no, bought you, is it? But how did your so, move yeah. come about? Um, just, I think like most moves, kind of had my agents kind of asking clubs that I was interested in going to, like if, if they were looking for anyone in my position and stuff like that. And it had been kind of a, a quiet window for me, like a few bits and pieces of like teams interested. And then all happened really quickly to be fair, probably on the Monday, Tuesday maybe of the week I signed. Kind of got moving Tuesday night, Wednesday, and then by Thursday I was there ready to go. So Fantastic. I quite like the way it happened as mm. well. I, I'd rather get over and done with quick yeah. like that. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. um, in terms of uh, the move coming in quickly and stuff like that, and we're talking about you know the, the excitement of fans coming to it, yeah. how important is that relationship between fans um, and the players? I think it's always important. They, they know how much they can help us on a match day. Mm. Probably we know how much we can help them kind of during games, plus the community work that I know the clubs big into. Mm. So I think it's definitely, we, we both need each other. Mm. And it seems like mm. they both use each other here and they both get on. Mm. So it's like, obviously, the gallery itself does a lot of community work and is, yep. is very proud of the way it engages with the yep. community. What kind of things do you have on offer here? We work with a really broad range, but we have a particular specialism in working with young people. So that might be looked after children, that might be young carers, young parents. But we work really hard on this establishing kind of deep relationships. So it's not that we kind of do something and then move on. We like to work with these young people over the periods of years. And the great thing about the Lowry is it's theatres and it's galleries and it's school, school classrooms and all those sorts of things. We can really give young people a really rounded experience. And the key thing for me is that, you know, a lot of these young people have got an enormous amount of challenges in their lives. And sometimes it's hard to say out loud how you feel or, you know, what you're, what you're worried about or excited about or whatever. And what I love about Lowry is he said, you don't need brains to be a painter, just feelings. And that's what we tell young people. All right, if you don't want to say it out loud, draw it, dance it, paint it. We've had kind of comedy workshops for young people, whatever it might take to help them express themselves. And that's the most important thing. Do you think then that Larry kind of bought into or was 
was part of kind of amplifying the fact that Salford's a certain hotbed for arts and culture and that kind of thing? I don't, I don't really think so, because he was, he was pretty much on his own. I mean, mm. he was painting for 20 odd years mm. and then he finally got a one person exhibition in London and became this overnight sensation. He'd been painting mm. these fantastic pictures for so many years. I think what he did want to do though is put a spotlight, as I say, on just ordinary people, mm. for the want of a better word. Um, because nobody else was doing it. Painters, certainly the first half of the 20th century, were fascinated by the development of modernism and abstraction and all those things. Um, or oh, they were doing still lives or nudes or all these fantastic things. Very, very few painters were just painting ordinary people going about their lives. And what he wanted to do was say, this is the ebb and flow of daily life and I want to paint it. Yeah. Um, transitioning to like the squad that you've moved into now, you've, you've gone straight in. Um, a yeah. couple of performances. You looked as though you've played there all season, but I'm guessing moving in January is a lot harder than the pre-season. So how have you found all that? Well, it's kind of, again, it's happened quickly to move <laughs> and the games have come pretty mm. quickly. Like we've had three since I've been here now. So it's, it's probably helped in a way that I just have to get in there, try and get to know lads, try and kind of see what they're about so they can see what I'm about. Mm. And, but no, it's, it's been good. It's a good group of lads, as, as yeah. I'm sure you know. <laughs> but yeah, they've, they've welcomed me very well, and I feel like I've been here a lot longer than I have already. Mm. And then we're, we're in a, quite a rich vein of form at the moment. Yeah. A little bit of excitement on the terrorists. They're talking about the P word on the terrorists at the moment about promotion. Yeah. But how, how's the enthusiasm within the camp? I think it's just, it's very bubbly at the moment. Everyone seems in good spirits. And you, it's just a good group of lads mm. going in the right way at the moment, and hopefully we can keep kicking on and doing mm. that. And as saying, you know, the, evoking the memories of that, the three o'clock games, um, the community all coming together as one, as a kind of a shared experience. We've only, I think we've only got about eight or nine home games left this season. What important role uh, is that kind of relationship now? It's going to be a big one because they're going to help us get over the line if and when we do hopefully get there. And they'll be there to enjoy it with us as well when it happens, mm -hmm. hopefully. Uh, maybe we can get a nice picture uh, printed up printed yeah. there of us celebrating at the end yeah. of the season. Now, it's, we're, honestly, as, as a self audio myself, I'm absolutely buzzing to have this piece of artwork um, back in the city and on display. I'm sure, like the rest of the city, we are all really excited, as you guys are. Um, so I hope as many people can come down and see that as much as possible. And also, we're really pleased to have you on board, buying into you know, what the club stands for, and hopefully we'll kick on for a very successful th season.